Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Minecraft video on my channel. My name is Killfeed or Brandon here today. But before we get into today's video, thank you to all of my members that are on screen right now. Thank you guys so much. We actually lost about 15 members whenever I did change the membership level. If you guys want to know more about membership, go ahead and click that join button down below. You don't have to. I completely like it whenever you guys just view my videos or just talk to me, interact with me on the Discord, Instagram, or Twitter. Link below, by the way. But... I just want to give a special shout out because that's one of the perks that you get whenever you are a member of my channel. Thank you guys all so much and I do really appreciate it. But you guys are probably wondering, or probably not wondering because you clicked on this video because thumbnail and title, right? Anyway, so this is all of the working Minecraft x-ray glitches and there is one very cheap one, number one, that we're going to go over right now. Alrighty guys, so we're here in survival now. I'm going to be trying to do these in survival as you guys have been requesting. So. The first one is we're going to go ahead and use slime. Now, as you guys can see, I want to show you that there is lava back here, and it is a full source block. I'm going to use six slime blocks, as you guys can see in the chest, six, and a pickaxe. This is all you need. Now, you kind of have to be quick with it, or you can stand above it and mine down. But I'm going to go ahead and stand here, and I'm going to mine it out and show you guys that it does work. Look at that. That is just so cool that you can see through slime like that. Now, you want to go ahead and do this one, right? And let's go ahead and just place that there. And look, there's still lava back there, but you can see through the slime to see diamonds or whatever is down there. That is just so, so cool. It is super, super simple. And I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that you can't, you just can't do it, right? You can't see through the stone, but you can see through the slime. That is just so, so cool to me. Okay, one of our slime did burn. But anyways, yeah, that's so cool. So if you have a lot of extra slime and you want to go ahead and see what's under the lava lakes, now is your best chance. Alrighty guys, so for glitch number two, this one has been over before, but it is very, very cheap. You just need a night vision potion to make it a little, a little more easier on you. Go ahead and grab yourself a pickaxe and three beds. So the only thing you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and just mine out a few blocks. Now you have to make sure it's obviously nighttime for this to work. So go ahead and mine out a little bit like this and do it for this side. So you want to make a little, a little plus basically. Alrighty guys, so once you have your 3 by ones just like this in all three directions, go ahead and go on the back of them. Now, this is important that your pillow is facing to the center of all three beds. So it should look something like this. Whenever you have it, the beds don't have to be red. They can be any color. Now that you have that, go ahead and fill in these spots just like this. Just like this one, but do it for every side. So go ahead and fill it in just like that, the two miss, the four missing blocks on top. Go ahead and throw down your splash potion. Now that it is night, go ahead and lay in your bed. And you see the caves in front of us and to our right. Now go ahead and leave bed before you fall asleep. As you see all those caves right there. And but right before you fall asleep, you want to go ahead and get out so you can see. Nothing really on that side, but I'm going to show you this one again. Look at all those caves up, up above us, right in front of us, and all that. You can go ahead and just sleep. Make sure you get a good look, wake up, and then redo it all over again. Now number three is a favorite because it is pretty easy to do and very cheap to do. All you need is a boat, a pickaxe, and a night vision potion to make it a little easier on you. Night vision obviously isn't required. But what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and dig a tunnel. Now there is a little problem there, so we're going to go this way. So what you really want to do is you want to dig a one-by-one -one tunnel pretty far Okay, because this is going to give the boat some allowance to where you can see through it, just like our sand glitch later. Go ahead and stick around for that one as well. So as you guys see, we're in the boat. So what you want to do, you want to kind of maneuver yourself in between the block, like this right here. So you're in the block, but you're in the pathway at the same time. So you're glitched through. As you can see, we see lava lakes. We see another lava lake. We see our diamonds over there. We see another little hole over here. We see some redstone over there, actually. We see our bed fell on the ground in there. As you guys can see, this glitch is very, very simple to do. Now, sometimes you will get caught in a block. Make sure you just mine it. It's very, very simple. Or you can just go ahead and make this three tall so you won't have that issue at all. As, I, as you guys can see, I'm now in the glitch and out of the glitch. So if you leave this boat right here, right, you can see through it. Go ahead and get out. Let's say, oh, well, I need to know if I actually saw what I saw. Go ahead and just get right back in, and you're still in the glitch. So that's pretty, pretty cool for glitch number three. Alrighty guys, so glitch number four is a little late game or just a little teaser or a fun one. You're going to go ahead and grab yourself the pig, the saddle, the carrot on a stick, some half slabs or some slabs, whatever you want to call them, a pickaxe and a night vision potion. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to mine out a little area full of slabs, okay? 
So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go ahead and mine out a area and we're gonna place the ceiling with slabs. Now we're gonna leave one open spot because that open spot will allow us to get in on the pig and then once we're in, we're just gonna walk right through the half slabs. It's really weird how it works, but trust me, it just works. So let's go ahead and just do it. Now as you guys know, we're just gonna go ahead and place the top slab just like this all the way back but you're not going to place this one right here because we have to get in. So go ahead and spawn in your pig or bring down your pig. Put on a saddle. Get on it. And then you're going to pull out the stick. And we're going to eventually control them in here. And then all you have to do is just look up. As you guys can see, there's a cave above us. There's a sheep way up there. It looks like there's a cave over to behind us. Let me go ahead and turn around. Yep, there's a cave. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that cave system over there? Wow. And there it is. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So... That is glitch number four. It is kind of late game, kind of fun. Oh my gosh, look at me riding a pig. But it is very efficient. Alrighty, guys. So for glitch number five, just like number four, but you're going to go ahead and use a horse. Alrighty, guys. So for the horse one, go ahead and use the same room you are for your pig. Um, but this one is going to be a little challenging. So you're going to have to be very, very careful. So whenever you walk in here, go ahead and go as slow as you can through the block and as you guys can see oh right there every time you adjust you're going to, have to move back just a little bit but not too far i'm inching forward and as you guys can see the cave systems here now you will take damage but if you do just go ahead and back right out the block like that every time you nudge in let me be kind of careful here there we go so look at the clean look we have for this cave that's pretty crazy if you ask me now it isn't as easy with the pig but it does work just like the pig. Instead of you, if you can't get on a pig, you can go ahead and use a horse. Alrighty, guys. So for glitch number six, it is very simple. All you need is a night vision potion to make it easier on yourself. Grab your two pieces of sand and grab yourself a pickaxe. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is that I'm going to go ahead and use this wall since all the caves are over here. And we already know that. Is we're going to go ahead and mine two blocks in. And what we're going to do, we're going to look up. And we're going to go ahead and mine actually one block up. So just like that. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to very carefully place a sand block, and you know you're in it whenever you uh, glitch like that, and you can look down, you're still in the block. Go ahead and throw another one up, and then you'll start suffocating, and then wedge yourself out just ever so lightly. And as you guys can see, there's a dungeon right here. And look at all these caves. Let's go ahead and throw a night vision potion down. That is a skeleton spawner. As you guys can see, we just found that on just by this glitch and look at all those caves this one is so nice and so easy to use Alrighty, guys so for glitch number seven it's pretty simple to do as well all you're going to need is a night vision potion to make it easier on yourself grab a sticky piston one lever one smooth stone slab and one netherite pick Alrighty, guys so to go ahead and do this glitch all what we're going to do is go ahead and mine a little two by one just a few blocks out now go ahead and mine one block down and one block in also make it two blocks in just like this and then go ahead and mine the two blocks to the left what you're going to do place your lever right here place your piston now you want to go ahead and fill in this block right here and go ahead and fill in that block right there now what this is going to do is that this is going to glitch it out so watch we're going to go ahead and make sure there's a block behind us as well so we're in the block and we can't get out go ahead and flick that lever and then look up as you guys can see we can see our little hole that we got to down here we can see that there's a little cavern up here there's a cave over there we know there's a cave right there and a cave over here also a cave right there right the right by the cavern if you want to get out of this glitch all you have to do is just break the block above you now it's very simple to do and it is very easy to do but if you want it to make it even better, if you want to make it even better, go ahead and do the sand glitch that we did for number six. Alrighty, guys. So glitch number eight also is the same as the pig and the horse, but it involves a mine cart. I would have to do one with the strider, but I'm not going to make it too consistent, like too many of the same ones. So I'm just going to do these three, but you can do it with the strider. So what we're going to do is that all you're going to have to do is make sure it's the same height as with the pig. And you're going to go ahead and just make this thing a little like a little roundabout system basically all right guys so this is how it should lay out or you can do something different so just get in and look up now, as you guys can see let me go ahead and throw down my night vision potion as you guys can see we have all of this stuff above us and we know there's some stuff over there as we can see it now holy cow it's a big old cave system and as you guys can see we're just going to keep going back and forth but you can go ahead and put some power rails in here and make it very efficient but that is another way you can do it in a small room with some slabs on the roof
All right, guys, so for the last and final x-ray glitch that we have here, all you're going to need is a pickaxe, a block to put behind your shulker box, and also grab a night vision potion to make it even better. So what we're going to go ahead and do is that you're going to dig a 1x2 out just like this, and you're going to go ahead and stand in the 1x2, place a block right here, place your shulker box, and what you're going to do is you're going to crouch, and you're going to open it, and you're going to have it push you back just right. Now, I don't know really, it takes some time to do, so let's go ahead and scoot to the shelter box. Did that do it? Oh, it did do it. Oh, no. Okay, so as you guys can see, we're in the glitch, and we can see the spawner right here and all this stuff over there. Holy cow, is there diamonds down there? Oh, there's a little cave down there. I don't know if there's diamonds or not, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this again just in case, so I can't get back in the block, as you guys can see. So go ahead and crouch and come to the shelter box, open it, Close out of it, and we're in the glitch. So we can go ahead and ease to the wall. Oh, too far. Ease in the wall. And as you guys can see, we can see all this amazing stuff. Alrighty, guys. So that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you slap that subscribe button. Hit that like button as our goal is 100 to unlock tomorrow's video. Do not forget, if you made it to the end, to let me know down in the comments down below if you guys are going to use one of these glitches in your world. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and see you guys later. Bye, everybody.